Hey guys, welcome to my dimly lit, very dirty garage at the moment because we're going through redoing the carpets and stuff in our house, the joys of being married to a cabinet maker. Uh, every year we do it, so that's going on at the moment, but I just wanted to show you, hi Exodus. Uh, I went today to get a new bale of hay. So in my last video, I talked a little bit about uh, how we we're feeding the boys loosen because they're under six months old and they needed more calcium. Now they are just about to turn, well they're over six months now, we are introducing a new style of hay. So I was originally gonna get oaten, but I found this and this is teff. So this is something that's relatively new to Australia in the last year or two. And it sort of, they say that it has the same nutritional value as Timothy hay. Um, but it's a little bit higher in sugar. So this is a low sugar bale of teff hay. Uh, what was it? $24.50 at, at the local produce store. Uh, obviously is a little bit more expensive at the moment for hay because of the drought crisis and everything like that going on in Australia. So usually you'd be looking at about 21 or um, even 19 $18 for a bale. But yeah, we're up around the $25 at the moment just because of all that. Is that smell good? So I just wanted to show you because I'm going to introduce it now into the boys cage and I guess we'll see how they like it. I'll also link an article down below about the benefits of teff. In Australia, Timothy hay is available, but you can't get it in a bale. You can only get it in quite small bags. Um, so yeah, so teff is the next, next best option for people in Australia. So that's why we've got it. Um, and it is a lot greener than the oat and hay that we can get here. So what I'm gonna do is just cut this off, take a little bit off, I'm not taking the whole bale in. And we'll see how they like Okay, I didn't bring the tripod in, but all I'm gonna do is I have secateurs here and I'm just gonna cut the tag and cut this tag. And then if you don't know hay at all, hay comes in a bale and then the bale is made up of biscuits. So I'm just gonna grab a biscuit, which is this. And, oh, this might be hard one-handed. Chuck the biscuit on top. Just wait there for a second. All right. Oh my goodness. Yeah, if you didn't know, hay makes a giant mess. And I'll prove that in one second because look at the boot of my car. Can you see that? Sorry, the lighting's not great in here. It is full of hay. There's even hay like up back here. You can't see that well, but yeah. So if you can get a bale bag like I recommended in the hay video, um, but I haven't, ah, please. I haven't got around to getting one yet. So there's that. So I'm just gonna take a section. I have to stop the camera because I can't multitask that well um, into the guinea pig room and then I'll come back to you. So we're back in the guinea pig room and I've successfully spread hay throughout the house. So if you just wanted to look, this is a teff. Look how green and beautiful it is. So what I'm gonna do is I've just got like a handful of it. I'm gonna chuck it down. And then because they've been on loosen, we need to like mix the two together to integrate it. So let me just grab the tripod. All right, so there is our teff hay. And I've got a box of loosen over here. So we'll do about half and half. So we've got our loosen and our teff. Look how different they are. And I'm just gonna sort of mix them together and make a giant mess, I'm sure, um, as best as I can. That looks good, right? So everywhere that I can see teff, I can see the loosen. So that should be a good mix. Let's just sort of clean up a little bit. All right. And now we wait and see, wow, that's a giant pile of hay. Oh, look how beautiful and green it looks. We wait and see how long it takes the boys to come out and have a taste. Mimi, I see you chewing the tunnel. Let's see if I can coax them out. Give me. Okay. 
hang the tunnel for a moment. Come on. Come try the hay. Yeah, probably, I'm gonna keep this going. I'm just gonna sit down because I'll come if I'm sitting down. took some tap and ran away. Come on out, try the new hay. Yeah, look, he's taking another piece of teff. Did you just see him bring that over and give it to Michigan? That is brotherly love. You guys are so cute. Going for so he's around the loosen. What's he grabbing? He's moving the loosen around Idaho to grab the teff, which is great sign. Oregon's out here near having the teff, so is Michigan. Well, it seems like they like it. So basically the plan is, um, like I said in my hay video, is we'll slowly introduce it. So I've done about 50-50 of the teff and loosen, and then I'll just keep doing that mix for the next couple of days. And then sometime next week we'll go to like 75% teff with a little bit of loosen. And then we'll take the loosen completely out. So it's just to make sure that their stomachs and stuff are getting used to it and they're not going to get upset stomachs from us changing the hay all of a sudden. But we seem to have a winner here. And just look how nice the taffy is.